How are we doing, sports fans? Ghost Picks team, Justin here. Um, hockey's picking up. Free plays are still on fire. Uh, and we dropped a baseball play yesterday, which was our top play of the day. Um, honestly, it was not really par for the course. Uh, the Blue Jays, we had them taking on the Orioles on the run line. Uh, and when the Blue Jays have been losing, it's mostly been because of uh, poor pitching. They haven't really had a problem generating runs this year. Uh, that was not the case yesterday. Um, still had some poor pitching, but they just weren't able to, uh, you know, fire anything up on the offensive end. Um, big loss. It really didn't get bad until right on the 8th and the ninth. but it was mostly a 2-1 game most of the day, which was kind of surprising. That means they got um, decent pitching, uh, just weren't able to capitalize on their chances they had uh, on the offensive end. Um, like I said, that was a five-unit play for us. Did not pan out. Um, we asked, but we did come back. Uh, our NHL top play we was a rocking chair winner. Looked really good. Uh, what a hockey game last night. Uh, we had the first period under. Uh, there was a little bit of confusion when we put out the plays. Uh, we had to send out a second email verifying that we were on the first period under. Um, just because I put first period under and then I put point, um, five, but I meant to put 1.5. That's my fault. Uh, we clarified that as soon as we could. Um, some of the guys said that they were already on the play, uh, but it was fairly quick. Um, but I know some of you guys like to jump on those right when you get the right when you get to try to avoid a line jump. Uh, so they got the push if they were not on the first period under, if they were on the total team. Um, I feel bad for anybody who was on Vegas in regulation. Um, it was it was tough. That was a tough loss to take. Uh, very uncharacteristic mistake by Fleury. Uh, a game that was dominated completely by Vegas, um, and then you know Carey Price just doing Carey Price things and absolutely dragging Montreal to the winner's circle. Uh, Cole Caulfield uh, looks amazing. He's a young American star uh, in Montreal, which is pretty wild. He is absolutely lit a spark to that team. Hard to believe they didn't even play him in the first playoff game. Um, looking back, that's going to be something I think they laugh about. But, man, he is exciting. His goal to beat Fleury to start the game, I feel like really was um, the only thing they had going for him. Uh, Montreal's penalty kill is absolutely lights out. They are all about blocking shots and playing for the man uh, behind them with Price. And he is just, made, whenever there is a lapse in D, he's there to clean it up. Uh, he's by far been the better goalie. I mean, don't get me wrong, Fleury's been playing really well, but he's just not facing nearly the amount of shots uh, that Price is. And Price is just dragging Montreal. A team that really doesn't have... Um, a lot of offense and their style. You can tell why Montreal couldn't play this away all year. Um, it's just, it's, it wouldn't be possible. Um, and they kind of got lit up a little bit uh, in the regular season, but they were putting up goals themselves. I think um, they're just playing completely different styles. And now that they're in the playoffs, they're just completely sh shifted everything to one way. And it's really working out for them. Uh, scary to be a Vegas fan right now, just because you know you're running into such a hot goaltender. Uh, and these young Canadians, uh, they are just flying around the ice. Um, and, you know, that, that, that's, just, that's just something you run into uh, at this time of year. Uh, like I said, can't wait for game four. Uh, I mean, I'd be surprised if you don't see a monster push from Vegas. But, like, again, you have Carey Price. You just can't go against the guy. Uh, free play was a winner. Minnesota Twins money line taken on the Texas Rangers. Took extra innings, went into 10. They ended up winning 5-3, I believe, or it was... Or, yeah, I think it was 5-3. I'll have to double-check that. Um, free plays, man, they are just ungodly hot. They are just on fire. I believe that's 15-2 and two, the last 17. I mean, I mean that is unreal. Uh, all you guys that are just watching the videos, getting free plays, shout out to you. You guys are absolutely killing it right now. Um, couldn't be happier for you guys. I uh, always love seeing what you guys are doing in the comic section. Uh, let me know what games you're on. Uh, I like to know, especially you guys who are just riding free plays, what you like for your free plays. Um, go ahead and drop a comment in the bottom and tell me what you're on today. Um, kind of as a par for course, normally I, sometimes I'll come back to a top tier loser the next day uh, as another top play just because I feel that confident in it. Um, today I'm coming back with that as my free play. I think the Blue Jays on the run line, I think the line's minus 115. Um, they're going to wax the Orioles. The Orioles are not a good team. Uh, Jays are a good team that have lost a couple in a row now. After they got swept by the Yankees, they come out, and I thought they were going to come out hot versus the Orioles. Uh, it's not going to happen again. They're going to go ahead and get, they're going to get theirs back. Um, I was looking at the, doing this for a top play. Still might, but it's definitely going to be the free play. 
uh, is going to be the Ori I mean the Blue Jays run line versus the Orioles. Uh, game's at three uh, four oh five today. Um, good luck. God bless. Grind on, and let's go.